18th Lok Sabha Elections 2024 Upor Election Commissioner at Pra Wednesday the first phase nimite notification di dise. Itu upor aji koi mate thaka Commissioner at Office the meeting ekta luise kote Chief Electoral Officer Vyasan Arbra janaise ki Nagaland the free or fair election lobole nimite tayari sob kuri luise. Ar sobse daungor focus to electoral roll de thakbo. Ta kuise special summary revision do pura hoi gina January 10th the final draft publish kuri dise. Kintu 43 Tapi Assembly constituency de by elections nimite itu lagana. Vyasan R kuise electoral roll ite form number 6 pra jayase aro March tak submit kurubule dibo. Itu lo de March 27 tak nam khan disposal kurubule permission as. CO aro kuise 16,000 polling personnel khan kam kuribo. Activity activities have taken place. We have spoken to some of you, if not all of you, uh, during the course of this preparatory work. Uh, the main preparatory work has been the electoral roll process. The uh, summary revision, the special summary revision of electoral rolls have had taken place and we had published the final draft roll on uh, 10th of Jan for the entire state, uh, except for 43 Tapi which had by-elections happening. So for 43 Tapi we had published the final draft roll or final roll on 10th of February. Uh, so we have the electoral roll in place. However, this is not the final electoral roll. Additions to the electoral roll through form six. Submission of forms, which is basically form six, uh, was allowed till 17th of this month. Uh, and disposal will happen till 27th, which is the last date of filing of nominations. However, deletion, that is uh, through form seven, or changes through form A. Uh, the last date for submitting those forms was 16th of uh, this month, which is 16th of um, March, and it will be disposed by 26th of March. So basically, the short point is that though we published our final draft rolls on 10th slash 10th of Jan slash 10th of Feb, uh, there will be some changes to that because in the intervening time, more people who have basically crossed 18 years of age or who would have missed uh, putting their names in the electoral rolls would have actually submitted and their forms etc would be disposed of during the course of this time. So we will be freezing the electoral roll on as on 27th of uh, this month. So basically 27th of March is the last date when all the entries ex exits from the electoral will be finalized and based on that ele election would be uh, voting soon. Take place. The copies of the uh, final roll are available on our website. Uh, and as and when the electoral roll is finalized, as I mentioned on 27, uh, the new ones will again be published on the website. Now, uh, Commission has been focusing on participation, so therefore, uh, the Commission has insisted on some basic minimum facilities to be available in the polling stations. In spite of our difficulties, especially in some rough between 18 to 19 as 1.08 lakh. It is not 1.08 lakh, it is 19,000 all. And between 20 to 29, we have about 2,74,000 electors. Now, in our state, what we have found is that, especially during parliament elections, we have this curious case of apathy, two kinds of apathy from the electors. The commission has always been trying to emphasize that more and more people should come over and vote. Uh, in the elections, but uh, especially in urban areas and among the youth, uh, somehow there is a reluctance to come and vote. So I would, through your good offices, through all the media's good, good offices, urge all the young and first-time voters, uh, we have about 19 plus thousand between 18 to 19 years of age, and about 2,74,000 uh, between the age groups of 20 to 29, I would urge all of them to come out on 19th of April and come and vote so that the percentages in uh, during parliament elections show a steep increase. Uh, before I uh, hand over my mic to the uh, deputy CEO in charge of media, I would request our AEO MIS K2 to brief the media about different social media uh, platforms that we have in CEO's office and also uh, apps, basically uh, phone apps that are available through which um, candidates can also file their uh, requests 
for different meetings and also citizens can show their participation in elections to ensure a free and fair election. So, can do please. So, those activities are there. So, the endeavor of the commission is always to increase the participation I mentioned uh, in the context of our state. We have identified especially what is called urban, urban apathy and uh, youth apathy. So, the idea behind the commission's uh, steps uh, is to sort of increase participation. So, in an ideal world, the commission would want uh, at least, if not as much, at least greater than polling percentages that we saw in uh, during 20, 20, 2019 election. So, that is what the commission strives for. Yeah. No stoppages, not, we have not uh, seeing such stoppages, right? I mean, the idea is that the ENPO has given a particular kind of a press release, if I'm not wrong, or they have come out with some sort of a, um, a I don't know, a resolution, if I, I'm not sure if it's called resolution. So the idea is that, uh, so we, uh, we hope that uh, those things will sort of ensure that uh, the aim of the final aim of the commission is basically, basically to have increased, that's what I would like. See, there are different verticals as far as the uh, expenditure monitoring is concerned. Obviously, uh, liquor is one aspect, then drugs, narcotics, uh, and psychotropic substances, that's another aspect. Then uh, cash is, of course, uh, another aspect. So, as on date, uh, we have been sending the reports to CEO's office. Uh, I don't have the exact data, but there has been seizures in Dimampur. The there has been some seizures, not cash, but uh, liquors and uh, the drugs which are part of you know the routine policing operations but this will be further intensified uh, with more manpower and uh, as per the guidelines ito moi state police nodal officer lima sana pra security measures kan loa opor kuse central forces la company bishi naglende punchi se ar ta kan state police ke elections la mamla khan de madad dibo commissioner nagaland mr sushil patel the election officers Assistant Normal Police Officer, Mr. Vinod Kichu, and all my good friends from India, a very good morning, a rather good afternoon. Uh, I'll just briefly highlight on the security aspect and the arrangements that have been made in order to ensure a smooth, free, fair, and peaceful election in our state to the one parliamentary constituency, which is slated for voting on the 19th. The election processes have already started a long time back, but right after the announcement of the model code of conduct, for the information of one and all, all the police officers, right from the rank of DGP down to the uh, last rank, are deemed to be on deputation to the election commission of India for the process of the election. So all the police officers are on deputation to BCI and Accordingly, we are handling the responsibilities uh, under the able leadership of our DGP Nagaland. The total number of polling stations as already stated by our CEO stands at uh, 2,342. Uh, the classification from a security point of view has already been done by the DCs and the SPs. And we are also gearing up in terms of the available state resources, state police, the NAP, the IRB, the home guards, all will be utilized to ensure that uh, the security apparatus is in place. Yes, the electioneering process being to only one parliamentary constituency, the level of violence, the level of uh, intensity is far less compared to the assembly elections where the stakes uh, seems to be much higher. Nonetheless, uh, we, we are on our guards and we will continue to monitor it, we will continue to deliver our duties. It is the appeal of the police department to seek the cooperation of all the public to ensure that the democratic process and the democratic exercise is undertaken in a manner, in a befitting manner, and ensure a peaceful, smooth, free and fair conduct of elections. Thank you. We come forward and please role as mandated by the ECI. To that respect, we have put uh, SSTs and FSTs in all the districts as per the 
a little bit like uh, the, the ECI guideline. So these are already operational in all the districts. There will be vehicle checks. MVCBs will be conducted by state police as well as by the CAPF forces which we have received in multiple locations. So uh, it would be the appeal of the state police to cooperate with the law enforcement agencies and uh, also to bear with some amount of inconvenience because vehicles will be checked, stopped and then, uh, you know, uh, search and other things will be conducted. That is one aspect. This is important personnel to reach their destination and then uh, to conduct the uh, working on the working day. We have also received a few companies of CAPM well in advance in order to carry out pre-poll election duties which some of the districts have received and uh, they are undertaking road patrolling, area domination and other expenditure monitoring related activities. As rightly mentioned and as stated by the CEO, the four M's, muscle, money, misinformation and moral policy. Information is concerned as already uh, social media monitoring is going on from police headquarters. We also have the capability to deal with any kind of fake news or any kind of rumor mongering that goes on and that can create a lot of disharmony or which can you know, erode the credibility of the election process. So any, any such social media fake news or rumors that, uh, that can uh, erode the credibility, please complain it to the nearest police station police station or to the cyber cell, cyber crime PS in police headquarters. We are confident that uh, we will be receiving additional forces of Central Armed Police Force or the SAPs in, in, in another few days, another... Uh... I don't have much to add to what has been already said. Uh, just that Our election got announced on the 16th as we are all aware and today the election notification has been issued by the returning officer. The entire election process is so far going on smoothly. Uh, the media plays a very crucial role as far as electionary is concerned. It is through you that our messages reach to every nook and corner of the state. So we appeal the media to assist us to help the electionary authorities in conducting a, a peaceful and smooth election. The MCC, as we are aware, is fully in force now. Any violation of the MCC can be reported through c vigil and through other means as well, which will be uh, explained to us in detail. So that is all from my side as of now. I am Sushil Kumar Patel, I am the returning officer for the Lok Sabha constituency. Uh, we have issued the notice for the election today and then we will be taking the nomination for uh, form from the candidate from today only. The time, the time of nomination form to be given to the RO or ARO is from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. The nomination form can be given either to me as a RO or to the ARO. ARO is a, a sitting just behind you. When Jamin is ARO, as, as CEO has said, there are 58 ARO. One ARO is in commissioner office to help me out. The, the uh, nomination form can be given to me personally or to the ARO, Mr. Benjamin. Timing, as I said, is 11 to 3, not before 11. I can take and even after 3 p.m. If they are inside the camp compound at 3, I can take. But after 3 p.m., no. The last date of nomination is 27th, 27th of March, uh, 3 p.m. And then the no nomination forms can be taken on holidays, like 23, 24, 25, three days are holiday in between. So total, there are five days, 20, 21, 22, and then 26 and 27. The, the, once nomination forms are received by me, maybe numbers, maybe 8, 10, whatever, then there will be a Sputnik, next day, 28. That will be again at 11 a.m. will be informing to the candidate as and when they come for the nomination. That will also be happen at uh, a conference room just below this, the ground floor. That is been that will be now uh, informed to the candidate. And then 30th is the last date for the withdrawal, 3 p.m. So this is about the nomination. And then 
the counting is on fourth. I'll just brief about the how the ARO will be helping to the RO in the election uh, process. Uh, other than this nomination form, then poll, on the poll day the polling is on 19th. After that, uh, as as uh, CEO has said that there are 16 DO, so there will be 16 strong rooms where the uh, the EVMs will be going to the polling station. After casting, they will be again storing at the strong room. The counting will be the counting. There is a 4th June, that is Tuesday. That will be uh, will be starting counting uh, from 8 a.m. 8 a.m. with the postal ballot. So there will be two kind of uh, uh, votes that need to be counted. One, which is already in the EVMs. Second, the postal ballot. Postal ballot consists of the ETPBS, that is for the service voter. And then postal ballot uh, also, I would say, include the EDC, the polling person who are on the duty that they will be given EDC. And then officer who are posted outside for the uh, uh, Naga officer who are posted outside for election duty, and they can also apply for the postal ballot and there is one more category of the postal ballot that comes under 12D. The people who are uh, differentially able people, more than 40 percent, they can apply or the people who are 85 plus, 85 plus of age, they can apply. So, the DO, the ARO, they will be collecting the information from the voters who want to uh, have uh, postal ballot in their uh, postal ballot under 12D. They will be collecting accordingly, the postal ballot will be provided to them. And this postal ballot, casting of this postal ballot will be done at their home, their house. And these postal ballots need to be finished, uh, especially under 12D, uh, before one day of the actual polling. That is 19th is the actual poll. So 18th, 18th April is the day when we can complete the process of postal ballot. Once all these Postal ballot, it will come to the RO office, postal ballot under 12D, then service electors, ETPBS, plus it is, uh, there are only two kinds of postal ballot will come. The counting of postal ballot will be done at the RO level, RO office, and then counting of EVM will be done at the ARO office, that is DO office, the 16 places. And then uploading of data will be at the DO level plus RO office, that will be informed to all of you. Now, when it comes to the, the, there are certain things which I also inform to the candidate when they come for the nomination. Uh, maximum three vehicles are allowed uh, inside the 100, 100 meter periphery when they come for the nomination. And then inside the returning officer room when they are coming for the nomination to submit the nomination form, the maximum five person. So these are the small things uh, that we wanted to uh, inform you of. Uh, that, that is all from my side and then you can 